Happy New Year, recorders. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Steven. And well, I've been meaning to do this video for a while. And part of the reason what's preventing me is that's the thing. Like, there are just so many obstacles going on in my life right now that are just, you know, it's really hard for me to focus on my channel, especially how I mentioned that I thought LA Comic Con may have been my last ever con that I do because it's been a real struggle with Jason David Frank's death. It's just been a really struggle. And I've been, you know, going through like the five stages of grief and I'm like even though I felt like when I talked to Amy Jo Johnson last month that that I find uh, closure that I come to terms and sometimes I sort of felt like I'm not and I was gonna announce this before I went to SAC anime last weekend where you know every, now whenever I do a con I'm gonna wear this hoodie on the top it says there is no shame in asking for help there is never any shame in asking for help and i actually got that quote from uh steve burns from blues clues when i saw him at la comic-con last month you know but it was just there was so much resistance to asking for that help and if i could if i could say if there's anything i learned from steve from blues clues is that there is no shame in asking for help if you need it especially to the quote it says you matter like all of you watching this video you matter like i care about you and then it says, uh, call 988, the suicide prevention hotline. And then it says, uh, talk to your friends. And that's the thing. I'm not saying that always talking to your friends is going to be the answer to everything. But talk to someone. Always talk to someone when you feel alone in the dark. Because there's always going to be someone that really gives a fuck about you. Like me, I may not know you personally. But to the people that I know personally, I do care about my friends. Like, I have some of the most amazing friends in the world that, you know, I'll do anything. to Like, always check in on them. Make sure making sure that they're okay and they make sure that I'm okay too but and that's why that's all a part of the healing process on a final note recorders this is the beginning of a new era for me and I would say at SAC anime it kind of tested me like I won't say who but there was someone who I consider a close friend I snapped at her when because she didn't want to talk to me right away and she said I love you I love you and I I this is the part where I snapped at her and I said no you don't if you did care about me, what were you when he died? What were you? Did I really yell like that? A little bit. <laughs> but no, and all I was doing this, I said like, no, you don't. All I said was, and I kind of walked away and I sort of feel like, ah, oh, friendship kind of ended. But, you know, it's not that, I, you know, I should take it so personally, especially like after what happened with JDF, I should, you know, tone it down, like just be careful. But and all doing this, like all I want to do throughout this year when I'm doing cons is I want to meet more fans like yourselves i want to you know like just engage and you know like be there for the fans and although i'm not jdf i would like to you know continue keeping his spirit alive at these cons and that's what will keep me going recorders i will never stop being me as long as i got every fiery breath within me <laughs> that's not a little too dramatic but in all doing this thank you so much for tuning in recorders please hit that subscribe button comment down below give me a like and i'm on cameo if you like a special shout out for me and catch you next time